Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make this wreath from materials found at the Dollar Tree. So today I was doing a little bit of browsing at the Dollar Tree and I noticed that with every season they keep on ramping up their craft section. And so I noticed they had some cute Halloween ribbon and also some really cute wooden cutouts. And so I'm just going to pick up a few items and see if I can create a Halloween wreath for my home. First we're going to start off with this hanger. It's a wire hanger that I have from home, but very important to the process. Next, I have some googly monster eyes. <clears throat> then I have some ribbon. I also found some very nice mesh. I have orange and I have purple. I also found some mesh tubing a little bit of decorative, I don't know what that's called, some eyeballs. I also found some ribbon. I have multiple colors of ribbon, sparkly ribbon and polka dot. I may add a few bats. And the last piece is this eek that will be the centerpiece of my wreath. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this eek, uh, I guess, I don't know, wooden accent. It's really made out of pressed cardboard and spray paint it completely white. I'm going to use this matte white uh, Krylon Fusion paint with the paint and primer all in one because I want a really nice foundation because I'm going to paint these letters a different color and I want the true color of those paints so I'm painting this white. Okay, so here I have my lettering. As you can see, it was this brown color and I just went on ahead and primed it all white. And I'm going to paint this in the four colors that are on my wreath. Now, you may be wondering what's the fourth color. The fourth color is going to be black. And the reason why I'm adding in the black is because there's black in the ribbon. And so I don't want the ribbon to look as if it doesn't match. So I'm going to paint this E black. And because most of the ribbon is orange, I'm going to paint this exclamation mark orange to tie this in, but ensure that it doesn't overpower the look of the lettering. Next, I have my letter at the top, which is going to be green to tie in that green that's in the wreath. And then the last letter, this K, is going to be purple in order to um, tie in that purple. So these are the colors that I'm going to use on the lettering. I do want to incorporate some white into the lettering, so it may be black with white polka dots, or green with white, or purple with white, but just a way that I can um, tie that all together. The exclamation mark may be white with orange polka dots. Hadn't decided on that piece yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece so that I can then attach it to my Okay guys, so we're gonna start our wreath, but instead of using a wreath frame, we're just going to use this wire hanger. Um, I found that if you want to have a different shape of a wreath, or if you don't find a wreath uh, form at the store, you can just take a wire hanger and you can just simply do what I'm doing here, which is kind of, changing the shape of it and to make it and making it into a circle you can do what i'm doing here which is to bend the actual hanger in order to change the shape and it's not extremely hard but it does take a little bit of work in order to change it from that hanger shape into a circle 
Now, once we put our deco mesh on here, you won't really be able to see the wonkiness of the hanger, but this is just one of those quick tips whenever you forget to pick up a wreath friend at the Dollar Tree. I have my chenille stems, and I'm just gonna cut these down a little bit shorter. They're not gonna all be the same size, but they're just going to be a little shorter in order to attach the deco mesh to the wreath. My first layer is going to be with this orange deco mesh. Okay, so I'm going to pinch the mesh together like this, and then I'm going to find a place on my ring to start. And I'm going to take the Chanel stem, and I'm just going to attach it Gonna kind of pull that through to hide those ends and then just clip this off. I'm going to create a puff. And I will complete this going all the way around the wreath. So I have finished adding all of the orange deco mesh to my wreath and you notice that um, I have left a spot open. This is the spot where I'm going to put that wooden eek that we primed on the first part of the video. So now I'm going to get ready to add in some purple deco mesh but I'm going to add this in in a different way. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to cut these into sections. Um, these will be about eight inch sections. And I'm just gonna make sure that they all are about the same size because I'm going to let these uh, curl up. And then I'm going to add these little curls to the wreath. So let me go ahead and get these done. So I'm just going to take two, pinch them in the center, and then I have my chenille stem, and then I'm just going to go between two of the ruffles, and then add this in. And then I'm going to continue this all the way around. Okay, so I've added in my purple mesh and I want to show you my progress thus far. So this is the orange and purple mesh. And again, I have this blank side because this is where my lettering is going to go. And so now I want to add in that green tubing along with some black polka dot and purple glitter ribbon 
And so I think I'm just going to loop these in and out throughout the wreath. And I also want to add in this uh, ribbon as well that I found at the Dollar Tree. So all of these colors coincide with what's in this ribbon. Okay, so here I have my wreath. I have added in that green tubing. I've added in my purple curlies and I've also added in my ribbon. And I did this by just simply tying the ribbon around the frame. And so I have the ends cut, so I have my ribbon dispersed throughout. Now I'm getting ready to add my letters. I've painted the letters, these colors that correspond with the wreath and the ribbon. And I'm going to add it here on my wreath. Now, because it's kind of um, rounded, I'm going to add it in that same way. My only concern would be if I were to use my hot glue gun to attach it, you know, sometimes the glue is not strong enough, it can come off. So instead of using my hot glue gun, I'm actually going to be using my staple gun. So I've already preloaded my staple gun with some staples and I'm just going to flip this over. And I'm going to staple this frame to the back, attempting to hide the frame within the letters so that um, the frame is not seen. Now it will have to be seen through maybe part of the E, but not everywhere else. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the letters. to now attach the bow at the top here. I placed a, uh, an extra Chanel stem on the back of the bow and so I'm just going to add a touch of hot glue. Attach my bow. And then I'm going to flip this over. And then here I have my Chanel stem. And I'm going to twist the back of the stem to tighten it onto my clothes hanger that I'm using as a wire frame and then just push that down and attach it to the glue that's there. And here's the finished product. I didn't use all of the items that I bought, but I think it turned out great. For more inexpensive design inspiration, be sure to spend your weekends with Winnie. Bye!